prepare the seasoning for the rice. That's curry, garlic powder, ginger, allspice. Even though the recipe don't call for allspice, I just like it myself. Some dry herbs and some bay leaves and some uh, jalapeno. I took out the seeds and the, most of the seeds and the stems so it don't be as spicy. Two onions, yellow onions. Just waste a little bit, but that's how I am. Come there. Two tablespoons of some uh, cooking oil. It don't matter, whatever you like, man. So, two tablespoons of some cooking oil, right? So I'm gonna puree this up. This for the rice, for the rice. Got a little residual onion shit left over. That's alright. What I'm gonna do? I char the, um, the 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 peppers on a grill. This before. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna peel this off. That's just a skin. I'm peel the skin off and I'm gonna blend that. All I did was just rub it under cold water. Rub rub the skin under cold water, and it, it, the skin come right off. How much? can of tomatoes this is 28 ounce it calls for two uh 14 ounces but i saw 28 ounce so i'm gonna just do, use this one put that in the blender got my tomato paste throw that in there Using my daughter's spoon to scoop that shit, to scoop it out, cause it's small enough. I couldn't find nothing else. That's the first thing I saw. The recipe called for habaneros. I couldn't find no habaneros, so I just got a little bit of a, um, this a jalapeno. So I took the seeds and uh, most of the seeds and I cut it in half, cause the family don't like spicy, so I like spicy, so I just kept some of the seeds and a little bit of the ribs. Throw that in there, blend it. Gonna blend them on up. So while I got that blending, I'm gonna put the rest of the oil in a pot. Did you see what you said the, the That's on medium. It's on medium. Once the oil start simmering, shimmering, then we're going to put that oil. It's that, simmering, uh, not shimmering. Shimmering. Simmering. We, once, the, once the oil starts shimmering, once it dance around a little bit, we're going to put this puree in there. We're going to get uh, two and a half cups of rice. Make sure you wash, wash their rice. Wash their rice. The onion puree. Let it cook until it get brown. Eh? Put that on medium so you don't burn it. Okay. Right. Right. 
So I get a little brown. Pour your tomato puree in there. I'm pretty sure we explained this already, but that's curry, garlic powder, ground ginger, dried herbs, bay beefs. Even though the recipe don't call for all spice, I, I mean, me personally, I just like the flavor. So I use it. So we're going to stir that in. Just let that cook and reduce down a little bit. It's going to take about 20-30 minutes. Just make sure to incorporate that tomato puree and the onions completely. If y'all can smell this right now. It's crazy. Even though I put garlic powder in it, next time I might put some uh, fresh garlic with the tomato puree. Or even with the onion. You know what? No, with the tomato puree. So it cook at different times. So we just gonna leave this and let that go for about 20, 30 minutes. I forgot the, the chicken bouillon. You should add uh, three crushed bouillon, but I like this one better than bouillon. It, it mixed better and it tastes better to me. So that's what I'm doing. There's three spoons. Mm -hmm. right. So we have the rice that we washed. Bring that to a boil. Want to start boiling. Gonna shut him down a little. Cover with some foil and the lid. Boiling. I'm gonna shut him down. Gonna put the lid on. Go for like another 30 minutes. 